Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the upcoming Windows 11 taskbar overflow feature. Uh, so this computer here is a Windows 11 Retail Edition computer and I have my taskbar full and as I open stuff the uh, start button started moving to the left until I got to where it was full and then I made this little line and started adding stuff here. So I have this command prompt window here. So let's say I open up something new like Instagram. You can see it replaces that command prompt. So where did it go? So you would think you could kind of click on it to bring up anything that's past this little line here, but it doesn't seem to do anything. So on the uh, other computer I have here, which is a Windows Insider computer, it's a build 25163 uh, on the dev channel. You can see I have the same setup here, but now I have this uh, ellipsis here, these three dots, and it says Taskbar Overflow Menu. And if I click on it, you can see it brings up the stuff that didn't fit on the taskbar. So let's say I wanted to go to services here. That opens up and replaces the last one in the list. And then I minimize it. It's still there. And now let's say I wanted to go to event viewer. That replaces that one on the list. And so now when you close one, so right now this uh, PowerShell is the first one on the list here. So let's say I go to task scheduler. And now it's down there and I close it you'll see that PowerShell becomes the main one there because it's first on the list. So now if I were to close this, so you can see that 7-Zip is next. Now 7-Zip is the main one on the list there. So it always replaces whatever you close with the first one on the list. And then you can just kind of cycle through here. And then if you open up something, you know, character map, then that's going to be the main one and so on until you close it. And then it goes back to the first one on the list. So this will, you know, keep adding up programs here. Um, until you, you know, if you close all these and you just go back to your main taskbar there. So it's kind of a cool feature, I guess, for those of you who open so many programs that you can't keep them all in your taskbar, uh, which is pretty hard to do. So I had to, you know, find stuff that I would never open just to do this demonstration here. So once again, build 25163 or later. And then depending on your watch, when you're watching this, you might have this in your retail version as well anyways. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.